Today I'm going to show you how to fix your gorilla arms. What's going on everybody? It's Blake Bowman here with Gorilla Zen Fitness and today I'm going to be showing you guys a fix for internally rotated arms with your thumbs pointing each other like this. This is also sometimes referred to as gorilla posture. To begin, if this is something that you have, you definitely want to fix it because not only does it look weird to be standing like that, but it also predisposes you to a variety of different shoulder injuries like shoulder impingement syndrome and rotator cuff tears. Recently I saw a picture of myself with my arms really internally rotated in. You know that because when you're standing your thumbs should be pointing forward not towards each other like this. It should be like that. Um, I saw that picture and I decided to start addressing it myself and I also realized this is a very common issue for a lot of people with shoulder impingement so I wanted to make a video on it. So basically this postural distortion comes as a result of just being in internal rotation all the time. Okay, Right now with your hands together like this, texting on a phone, you're in internal rotation. Reading a book, you're in internal rotation. Working on a keyboard. Pretty much everything we're doing now as humans living in the 21st century, we're in internal rotation and the muscles of the rotator cuff and some of the other shoulder muscles um, that are internal rotators whose job it is to internally rotate become stiff and short and they kind of hold us in this position as a result of us always being in this position. Basically the corrective exercises that I'm going to show you how to fix this are based off of uh, strengthening and shortening the external rotators that are going to pull your arms into more neutral alignment and creating more length by stretching the internal rotators. Okay, so so we're going to do a combination of stretching and release work coupled with strengthening work. We're going to strength, we're going to release these muscles that are pulling you in so that you're a little bit more neutral and then we're going to strengthen the external rotators so that you're even more neutral. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to stretch and release the pecs followed by some rotator cuff stretching. For this one, you're just going to need a uh, softball, lacrosse ball, or some sort of massage ball. You can easy, even use a foam roller for it. I've talked about this in the past, but basically you're going to smash into the pec major and you're going to try to get into the pec minor too. There are tissues in the front of your chest here. Okay, You can start by actually just putting the ball in your chest, grabbing it with both hands and pulling it into the chest really, really hard. Okay. Um, if your pecs are really, really tight, you might want to start with this. However, if you've been doing this for a while and, or you're not that tight in here, you can uh, modify this by doing its progression. Put the ball down on the ground, okay? Put your chest right on it, and then cross your arm behind your back, and then just roll around in here looking for trigger points. That's basically all you're gonna need to do to release the pec or the pecs, the pec major and the pec minor. Spend some time over here. Also spend some time on the side here, couple up and down. That's the pec minor, okay? I've included a link in the description down below to a video I made in the past on how to release the pecs. I show this exercise plus another static stretch that you might want to consult if you're really, really tight in the pecs. Now we're going to do a static stretch for the internal rotators by taking the arm into external rotation. For this one, all you're going to need is a wall. Basically what we're doing is we're taking your arm out of this internally rotated position, okay, like this, um, into external rotation, okay? And by taking it into external rotation, we're going to place a stretch on those internal rotators, okay? The easiest way to do this is just with a wall. Put your elbow, your hand on the wall, line up your chest with it, okay? and then hinge forward like this, gently, okay? You don't have to do this hard at all. And basically this is what you do, you just hold this, okay? Um, essentially what you're trying to do is you're trying to use the wall to facilitate this external rotation, that, okay? So you're not really stretching the pec, you're trying, you're kind of putting it up here and then rotating your body forward so that your arm, like I said, is getting taken back into external rotation. Okay, so now that we've created some length and um, some more mobility in those tight internal rotators, which we're pulling your arms inward like that, we're gonna strengthen the external rotators to create a more neutral environment for the shoulder. The easiest way to do this is just with a really light resistance band. Another thing that makes this a little bit easier is having a ball handy, um, and I'll show you why. But basically, you just take your resistance band, anchor it around something, it can be anything, it doesn't have to be a machine, it can be like a tree, okay? 
You can just hold the other hand, you know, like this, or you can tie it to something so you don't have to worry about this. But basically, you're gonna select an arm. If I'm starting with my right arm, you're gonna pinch that ball with your elbow, okay? Basically, what this is gonna do with the, the ball thing is it's going to uh, help the right external rotators activate, okay, without uh, you cheating, basically. Okay, so you're gonna keep that ball pinched, and then you're gonna rotate out like this, okay? Keep not letting that ball go anywhere, okay? Just like this. Taking that arm into external rotation. Try to go as far as you can. After stretching those internal rotators, you should have mobilized your shoulder a little bit and you should have some new external range of motion. So really go as far as you can when you're doing that. Don't let the ball drop and that's it. There you have it, people. Release and stretch the pecs and the internal rotators for about one to two minutes on each side, and then perform you know, three to four sets of 15 repetitions of external rotation. I would also recommend you lay off doing chest isolation exercises like chest flies um, and things like that just for the time being because if you're just, you're basically by doing those exercises, you're just creating more tightness in the pecs which is gonna internally rotate you a little bit more, okay? So you don't have to uh, give those up indefinitely but if you're really trying to make a significant improvement on your gorilla posture, your internally rotated arms, then lay off of doing those just for like a month or so. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have and you're not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that right over here. Also, if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, have me assess your posture and develop a custom corrective exercise routine for you, go ahead and go down below under coaching and hit the link right there. If you haven't liked my Facebook page and follow me on Instagram, then make sure to do that as well. There are links in the description down below. Other than that, I'll see you next time.